I'm gonna share with you a foolproof plan to eradicate all your temptations, but not only that, it's going to make it so that you effortlessly stick to those positive disciplines that you want to make a habit. First thing we need to do is talk about B.F. Skinner. Skinner was a psychologist and his work showed that humans are motivated by two things, seeking a reward and avoiding pain. When you think about the things that you struggle to maintain your discipline on, like watching porn, eating sugary foods, playing video games, all of these things have been intentionally designed to release dopamine. Dopamine. And dopamine is the chemical in your brain related to pleasure. And it's released to let you know that something was rewarding. So what that means is on an animal level, you actually find these behaviors rewarding, which means on some level, you are motivated to keep doing them. And when you try to stop, you end up fighting against your biological program. And that's a fight that you are eventually going to lose. So the key to giving up your temptations for good is flipping this on its head. You have to find a way to make these temptations go from rewarding to painful. So how do you do this? That's what I'm going to explain in about 10 seconds. But first, if you're ready to get in the best shape of your life, become a disciplined person, get on your purpose and start crushing your goals, click the link in the description to learn about my coaching programs. Now back to the video. So how do we make it painful for you to give into your temptation? You have to learn to leverage positive and negative reinforcement. And this is also the trick to making those good habits that you want to do effortless. And I'm going to explain how you do that as well here in just a second. Positive and negative reinforcement matter match up with the reward pain motivations that we already talked about. We avoid things that bring us pain, which is negative reinforcement, and we move towards things that give us a reward, which is positive reinforcement. Right now, your temptations that you struggle with have been positively reinforced and you didn't even know it was happening. And now we need to undo this and negatively reinforce them. And you do this by treating yourself like a child. I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, I got in my fair share of trouble and my dad wasn't the soy boy type, so that meant that I got spanked quite a bit. My parents punished me for my bad behavior. And the point of the punishment was to show me that there are negative consequences for behaving badly. Essentially, they used negative reinforcement. Now, when you become an adult, your parents are no longer going to punish you. And if you're like most people, that means that nobody is checking you on your behavior. But our brains still operate the same way they did when we were children. Pain and reward, negative reinforcement, positive reinforcement. So you have to treat yourself like a child and punish yourself when you miss misbehave. And maybe you think that sounds weird. I'm not going to do that. But honestly, what sounds weird to me is a grown ass man who can't put a video game controller down, can't stay off Pornhub or can't stop stuffing his face with shit food. And by punishing yourself, you send the signal to your brain that there are negative consequences for continuing to do the behavior you've been doing. Now, I'm not saying that you punish yourself physically, like cutting yourself or something ridiculous like that. There are plenty of ways to send the message to your brain. Like for me, one thing I did when I was struggling to maintain discipline on my diet a couple weeks ago, Ago was I made myself do 50 push-ups every 30 minutes for the entire day. It sent the message to my brain that I wasn't going to get away with slacking on my diet. And after this, the temptation to cheat on my diet was a lot weaker because I had sent the signal to my brain that there were negative consequences for doing so. Maybe you need to give $20 to a friend every time that you skip a workout. Or if you're struggling with watching porn, maybe if you watch porn, you're not allowed to watch TV or play video games for a week. You have to do something uncomfortable so that you negatively reinforce this behavior behavior in your brain. And if you're serious about quitting this bad behavior, you have to take the punishment seriously and hold yourself accountable. And if you stick with this, your brain is going to start to view these behaviors as painful rather than rewarding. And if you give this around a month, your discipline is going to be dramatically higher. Now let's flip this around and use positive reinforcement to make it rewarding to do those good disciplines that you want to make a habit of. Like imagine if going to the gym was just an impulsive automatic thing for you to do instead of something you had to fight and be disciplined discipline to do. That's how it is for me. I get told all the time that I'm in great shape. People ask me for advice. I get respect from people because of my physical appearance. Women find me attractive. All of this is positive reinforcement for me to keep going to the gym. Now, maybe you're thinking right now, well, I'm not in great shape, so I'm not getting all of those responses from people. So how do I positively reinforce this? It's actually pretty simple, whether it be for the gym or anything else that you want to positively reinforce. You just have to reward yourself in some small way. Like, let's say that you put a marker board up on your wall and every day that you stick to your diet and go to the gym, you add a day to the streak and you write it on the marker board. So it's like seven days in a row following my diet and going to the gym. Continuing this streak and marking that off on the board actually will release dopamine and make your brain think that what you just did was rewarding. Make it a rule that you only watch TV after you've completed your work for the day. Now your brain associates completing all your work with a reward. So try to find as many ways as possible to positively reinforce doing those behaviors that you want to 
to be disciplined about. And if you want to learn the strategy that I use to become a completely disciplined person, you can click this video right here.